Welcome to another one. So right here, we have a mahogany. Usually how you could tell, leaves look like that, like little There's a mahogany or by the little the fruits do a little um, helicopter move the seeds so yeah look at all of this in here what do we see? What do we see, huh? So you can see could do a lot of uh, prunes to this. So you want to keep this shape. This is a nice shape here of this tree. Um you will keep this kind of shape here. It's a beautiful tree. You might want to go inside there. Okay. When you go inside there, want to get rid of some of these dead things here. All of that there, that there, the dead over there. All right. Clean all the dead first. First you clean all the dead. Then you want to get rid of the cross branchings. So you see this thing here? It's going to grow inside. You want to get rid of that one. Anything that's cross branching. Just look around. Anything that's cross branching, get rid of that. Yeah, real nice. There's the root flare I'm talking about. It's a good tree here. Next one here. All right. What you think about this? <laughs> it's a long tree. No type of structure, right? It has no structure, right? It has no structure. It's in need of a lot of help. This tree would not pass inspection. It has no structure, and this certainly did not help any. this helped it any you know it just and look at this root so yeah that's <laughs> that's the root flare but there is nothing here that's not good to the next tree here royal point sienna how you could tell is a royal point sienna Right, first obvious thing is these type of leaves. Then you got those type of seeds. These long seeds here like this. Another characteristic, if you can see it in the back right there in the front right here, is the red leaf flowers. Real type of problem. These trees right here, I don't recommend them like in places like so close to this here. They should be somewhere like in the open field, somewhere in the country yard, so that um, they can just grow wild, grow nice and 
big without any cuttings because what people like to do is because it's growing over here and it likes to sloop down it covers your sidewalk you know people cut them rainbow eucalyptus over here here we go why is it rainbow eucalyptus okay watch this so look at that trunk. It has different colors on it. You got this, you got that, you got that. And then if you peel it, it turns another color. You know, you got different colors. Eh? Rainbow eucalyptus. Usually people go buck crazy over this in uh, Hawaii. They'll park right in the middle of the road to take a picture of one of these things. So yeah. Second video over here. Filming in public places, uh, the trees and how, how they take care of these trees out here or not. Once again, we're over here at uh, Pride Park, across the street from the convention center, right there, it's the convention center. If you go over here, there's uh, the botanical garden, and over here, back behind over there, is the holocaust. So yeah. This is where we did our last filming over here. We're at Poinciana. Green Buttonwoods all over here. Two live oaks right here. But you could do some nice cuts over here. Oof, what a nice tree. Yeah, beautiful trees, man. I mean, not the best, but it's a good place to work at. I mean, if you can come out here, have a good time, and just trim these trees, that'll be so nice. If you just, if I had the time, you know, like if your job was just like, all right, come out here and just prune these trees. Look at this tree. Look at that. You know? If it was just like, come out here and prune these trees. Could have some fun out here, you know? Clip this. Look at that. You got some structure in there. You could work on it. And then in time, you'll see your beauty look at this you can, okay so watch this let's see so this is a long tree look how long this looks right you can do some reduction cuts on here slowly do some reduction cuts slowly reduce all of this this will will start to pop out new things and then you could keep reducing <sighs> wow it would be so nice if that was your job if it wasn't a job, you know what I mean? If it didn't feel like a job, like you got a deadline, you could just be like working and just trimming trees. That'd be so nice.